What's happening guys? Mass Ninja here coming out to live and loud with another video review for you today. And today, I like to welcome you guys to the movie corner. That's right guys, this is where I'm gonna be start doing most of my movie reviews. Or reacts, or if I have any guests on the show. Cause honestly, try to fit two people on one pop song. Yeah, that's not gonna happen guys. So with that said, welcome to the movie corner of the dojo. Oh yes. So with that said guys, movie I got for you today is the brand new Mummy movie. What do I say about this movie? Honestly, let's start from the beginning. The credits. The opening credit. Well you actually see Universal. But you don't know why I'm pointing this out. Because I thought this was interesting. You seen the Universal logo? You know, it's just it, it's a big old thing. You all know what it is. I ain't gonna play it. I don't want to get copyrighted for it. But you know that. Then the planet rotates around, and you see the logo goes right again to the dark side of the planet, and the Universal keeps going. And then you see Universal dark. And that, my friends, I thought that was interesting because it's the dark side of Universal. <sighs> but about the movie, the movie itself, fabulous, enjoyable. To me, I feel like it's actually a continuation of the original Mummy trilogy. Because honestly, my dear listeners, they had the Book of the Dead already in this library. They had it's a new mummy, new scenario, new everything. But they had the Book of the Dead. And I freaking enjoyed that scene. I'm going to try not spoil the movie too much. But I must say, it, they. Oh, I'm, a, I'm actually highly excited to see what Universal Monsters are going to do next. Because especially they did, instead of just a typical mummy movie, they even had like had a vampire skull, the creature from the Black Lagoons, Pan, as well as Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And how they introduced Dr. Jekyll was actually quite interesting because he was one he was running the secret organization. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Helsing organization. From Helsing, so uh, to me that was actually interesting because it reminded me so much of that Helsing organization. Because you've seen the vampire skull, it's Doctor Jekyll was literally wanting it, and he did turn into Mister Hyde. I was like, yes, yes. I was so excited for that movie. I thought that movie was going to suck, honestly. But granted. The Mummy is a kind of a pickle of a sort of movie because we have seen him all top. We have seen him multiple times. But we got this new Mummy, Princess some Princess of War. Princess of War. I can, I'm not sure how to pronounce it right now. Sorry. And she was a beast. See, I felt like she was a real threat because she wanted to resurrect more or less give Anubis the god of death a human vessel for she and him can rule the earth so with that said it was actually the plot was pretty decent especially we get this military guy I can't remember his name sorry more or less he's the chosen one he's the new vessel and his buddy, and here's the funny thing, his buddy ends up getting killed, and I gotta say, this is what really got me interested, because it reminded me, he came back as a ghost, and it felt like, it kind of had that werewolf in London feel, and that right there was actually highly enjoyable. I like, I'm, you can tell, I really enjoyed this movie. It was like a two hour long movie and it didn't feel two hours. It, 
the pacing was good, the action was good, the drama, the suspense, everything was good. So, I don't know, it's just a good movie. I would highly recommend giving it a watch. I mean, this is the Masked Ninja. Signing off until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. You can't run. You can't escape. She's got plans for you.